So, today I want to share from, from you from the book of Acts, chapter 10, and it's going to be a pretty long little, little bit. It's going to be verse 34 through 48. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start reading. Opening his mouth, Peter said, I most certainly understand now that God is not one to show partiality, but in every nation the man who hit who fears him and does what is right is welcome to him. The word which he sent to the sons of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. You yourselves know the thing which took place throughout all Judea, starting from Galilee, after the baptism which John proclaimed. You know of Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. You are witness, we are witnesses of all the things he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They also put him to death by hanging him on a cross. God raised him up on the third day and granted that he became visible, not to all the people, but to witnesses who were chosen beforehand by God. That is, to us who ate and drank with him after he arose from the dead. And he ordered us to preach to the people and solemnly to testify that this is the one who has been appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. Of him all the prophets bear witness that through his name everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who were listening to the message. All those circumcised believers who came with Peter were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been found poured out on the Gentiles also. For they were hearing them speaking with tongues and exalting God. And Peter answered, Surely no one can refuse the water for these to be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we did, can he? And he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked him to stay on for a few days. So, the back story to this was Peter and some converted Jews to Christianity, uh, which Peter was one of the apostles, um, was asked to come by Cornelius, who is a Gentile, to, I believe it was Chapa. And, um, and the reason being it was Cornelius had feared God and had been praying to God to send somebody. Because um, even the Gentiles at this time heard of Jesus Christ and heard and knew what happened to him. So... Um, and they they wanted that salvation. They wanted to to hear about it from from the men who were following him. And the funny thing is, when Cornelius first met Peter, um, Cornelius actually bowed down and started praising Peter. And Peter's like, "No, get up! I'm, you know, I'm I'm a man just like you." So. Uh, what I read there was Peter giving the gospel to Cornelius, his family, and his friends that were all there. And what's what's also good to know is that at this time, by Jewish law, it was against the Jewish law for Jews to associate with Gentiles. Um... And, but God told him that no man should be called unclean. And, you know, and so Peter, despite the Jewish law, obeyed and went and shared the gospel that I read. And as a result, now, not only knowing what had happened, but by hearing it from Peter, who was with Jesus Christ and the apostles, they believed. And as they believed, 
in everything that Peter was telling them about the gospel. The Holy Spirit came down, filled them up, and even the people who, who came with Peter were amazed. So this also confirmed to Peter himself that Jesus Christ was for every man in every nation. So that is why we spread the word of God to all the nations. And uh, it's just a beautiful version of how the gospel's told. So I hope somebody gets something something from this. If you don't know Christ and you heard this, this what I read, and you want to and you want to know Christ, all you got to do is, like I said, believe in the gospel, pray, repent, ask for forgiveness of sin, and ask for that Holy Spirit to come in to your life, and Jesus will send it. So God bless y'all. And we'll see you later.